What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again for another Gims rant. I'm sorry I took a week off. I'm actually still sick, Jesus Christ. But um, some new knowledge has come to my attention and uh, I wanted to go through this with you guys. It's uh, an interesting one to say the least because it confirms some of my beliefs that I have over toxicity being accepted by the devs, the Dead by Daylight team, the community managers, the forums, all that stuff. It really brings this whole story full circle for me um, as a fan of the game, as a paying customer, um, as a massive supporter of it, and also a massive fan of Dead by Daylight. Uh, not so much more of the uh, dev team. So we're going to go through some things. Uh, I'd like to give out a shout out to this person, and I'm going to read some of their comments. I hope they don't mind. Uh, I haven't messaged them back about it, but I'm sure they'll be okay. This person went ahead and did some research for me, which is cool. I didn't even ask them to. I just, I was just like, oh, it'd be cool if you could show me proof. And he completely linked the dots for everything. And uh, it was actually quite freaky. But this was my video that I did on Morph. And I told you guys that, oh, this guy's, a, you know, a fog whisperer and he got in somehow. I don't know how he did, but it is more than evident now, more than ever, why this person has gotten in. And, uh, you know, you guys can watch this video on your own time. It's, you know, uh, my blight versus the morph. A few people know about it now, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's have a look at this. Um, so yeah, this mitre guy, man. I just looked up morph's stream, and he is currently trash talking about killers he goes against, and that's not even the worst part. One of the moderators is Mandy Talk, a community manager at Behavior, who also banned Space Coconut in the forum, and I recently covered that in a video as well. <laughs> So DVD itself is promoting trash talking toxic players. Can you guys see this? I don't know if it's big enough. I'll just we'll go out of it, yeah. So yeah, you see that, yeah. Um I kinda lost all hope after learning this, to be honest. At least there are some positive streamers like you. It's very nice of him to say that. But I don't get why they make so many toxic fog whisperers. Well, it's all about politics, my friend. That's what it's about. Uh you're joking, this is my response. If you could supply more info on Discord, would be awesome. Would love proof of that at all possible. Because I thought this was too good to be true. Way too good to be true. Anyway, then plugs, uh, he puts in his Discord here. Um, I didn't have time to join because I was doing other things tonight. No worries, we'll have a chat tomorrow. I was going to have a chat with him tomorrow, but he just fucking does this for me. What a legend, man. I like this guy. Thank you, Miner. I hope you subscribed. Uh, Mr. Gims, in case you already want to have a look, and I do, and it turns out that I do because it's late at night now and I'm about to go to bed, but I saw this and I was like, oh, fuck this. The following link brings you in part of the Space Coconuts vid where he says Mandy Talk banned him. So if you go over here, Mandy Talk. This was the video he did about his ban from the forums, yeah, Space Coconut? You guys all remember that? He started a big hoorah and he started getting really pissed off at the devs after this, more so than ever. Mandy Talks. Now, she's just a community manager, I assume. Uh, well, she, I assuming the she. Uh, she is a community manager in the forums and she's the one that banned Space Coconut. For literally just speaking his mind, not being offensive, he just literally said, I know you have bills to pay, but, you know, not having a free event's really pissed people off, like the Halloween event. Anyway, go back to this, guys. Now, if you look at a Morph stream, now I haven't had a look at Morph stream since this happened because um, I, I choose not to watch trash. Uh, if you look into Morph stream, link below, you have to look in chat and you will see that there's a moderator named Mandy Talk. I honestly, honestly, Mido, if you if you ever see this video, dude, I didn't believe you. <laughs> Joke's on me, I guess. If you look at the mod's profile, you will see the same profile pic as in Space Coconut's video. So if you have a look at this one, yeah, you see the little weird kissy kissy thingy. Uh, also, there have been a lot of followers, even though they never streamed, they will and say they never will. Well, they must stream because I just had a look myself. Mandy Talk posts a message at 158. Uh, if you are having trouble finding her in chat. And he linked me the Twitch of Morph. Uh, let me know whether the answers, this answers all your questions. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate this. This really brings everything full circle. So we got Mandy Talk, the dev on the forums. One of the community managers who banned Space Coconut. But if we go down here, it's right here. Look at this shit. Mandy Talk. And I right clicked on it. Yeah, he's just she's just a mod for 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 Morph. She's she's legitimately a moderator, a three year subscriber and a moderator. Yeah, that that's coincident enough. But then I clicked on the profile picture, Mandy talk, Mandy talk. So 
so let's get this straight. Toxicity, being a general douchebag, and treating people like shit and acting like an absolute man-child is completely acceptable, according to the devs, because Mandy's part of the team. So that sort of thing is completely acceptable, yet when Space Coconut speaks his mind on the forums and tells them they have bills to pay, but they've let the fans down, then that's not okay for some reason. That's just an insta ban. Not only that, if we push forward, then Space Coconut's video that he did covering the ban and also his copyright strike by the king himself, another content creator, Ask Kisser, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus Christ. Um, then his video gets copyright striked. And look, let's be clear here. The King clicked accept for that. I'm getting a lot of different people telling me that, is it true that you have to manually do it? Da 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 da. Will YouTube do it for you? You have to click accept to make the copyright stick. Now, let's put it. I need, I need to be very crystal clear here. The King clicked accept he made it happen but he was probably pissed off or upset at the time when he did so i can understand that emotions got the best of him on the day that's completely fair enough and it's neither here nor there i don't know why he feels bad about that i mean shit happens man but the fact that he's just flat out lied and it's water under the bridge or whatever he said and oh my god they banned it sorry space coconut and they talked on twitter and they're all good now they're all good old boys is bullshit it's all bullshit the devs have the people that draw numbers and that's it and they're allowed to have an opinion they're allowed to have an opinion i don't believe for a second when space coconut and with all that shit with the king i don't believe for a second he didn't click accept i 100 percent believe that he was out to get him because he was pissed off at the time and that is fair enough as well but to sit there and lie about it and He's lied about it in that post. He did this post recently about all the reasons why he did it and yada, 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 and all that. And it, it kind of falls back down on itself. I actually messaged him on the comments as well saying, yeah, but can you please explain what happened with Space Coconut? Two comments were deleted. So I didn't swear at all. You guys know the kind of person I am. I didn't even have a go or anything like that, but they were just deleted. Um, and then in the comments, he says something like, um, you know, I, I'm, I don't ever trash talk any other people or... I don't ever say anything negative about other streamers who put down the product or put down Dead by Daylight. Yet, if you go back to my original video on The King, um, the video I tip my crown to you or whatever it is, um, I actually <laughs> show you a recording of him going, I can't stand this one, st like these streamers that put down the product and just pick out the bad things. All right, well, fair enough. The evidence is there. You guys can make of it what you will. But all I'm trying to do is just, just expose the Dead by Daylight politics. If... If you have the viewers and you're bringing in the money and you're bringing in the product and you're bringing new customers in, they honestly don't give a fuck what you say. But small streamers, small content creators like Space Coconut and myself or medium size, whatever you want to call us, they're not too arse with us. We're the ones that are giving them, I suppose, giving them a, a run for their money, making them, you know, ha accountable for their actions. They're the ones that are just like, oh, shut them up, ban them. I mean, I, I can't say a single thing in the forums anymore because I'm going to get banned. It's obvious to me. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to loop this all together for you. And I want to thank Mida for putting this together for me. Um, I've never talked to you before this. You seem like a decent, you know, dude. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Keep it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys uh, hit that subscribe button, like all that stuff, share it around, tell your friends, tell your grandma if she's into Dead by Daylight. And uh, I will see you in the stream tomorrow. All right, guys, have an awesome day. See you later.